up all my fight fans, UFC 280 in the books. We have TJ Dillashaw versus Aljamain Sterling. What is next for TJ? Well, guys, oh, man, it sucks. It really does suck because, you know, if you think about it, TJ Dillashaw has not had a fight since, uh, you know, July 2, 2021. Then before that, he did not have a fight till I think it was, what, January 2019? Somewhere around there, maybe 2018? Because he got caught with this whole steroid allegation, which he owned up to. He owned up to the steroids, and he took his time. And he did it. He did the crime. He did his time. So, a we give him much respect for that. We get so many people that do steroids and still won't admit to the steroids. To this day, you know, they still want to go and do their thing and say, "No, I never was on steroids." When it clearly was, you were. Or they try to make up some excuse. Just own up to it. Say, you know what? Yeah, I did that. I did that. It's my fault. I shouldn't have done it. Let me do this time, and I'll come back from that. That's it. Plain and simple. No way, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And that's why, that's why um, majority of the time, 90% of the time, no one really even talks about it or disses it or discusses it because, you know what, you owned up to it and you did it. Um, but nonetheless, this is the reason why we have not seen uh, TJ. We, we've seen what? This is his third fight in probably four years. And that's pretty bad. That's very, very bad. And he's been plagued with injuries. You know, with that turn, with that uh, time off that he had, which was kind of good. Um, well, I should say suspension. He was able to um, get some shoulder surgery, and then in that Sanhagen fight back in July 2021, he got some. He got he tore his ACL, so he was out for another year. And now here we are with this fight. He dislocates his shoulder again, so now he's going to be out for another year, possibly, possibly even longer, because this is. <clears throat> or who knows? Maybe it's not even that bad of a surgery. Maybe it's not even a surgery at all. Maybe it's just a small dislocation. Could take a couple of weeks to heal. Who knows? Maybe it could be that. But we do know that TJ Dillashaw has had surgery on his shoulders. And he has and he is getting older. So when as you get older, you become more injury prone and it comes it becomes a little bit harder to heal from some of these injuries. Um the most famous guy to have that kind of uh really long layoff and be out of the game for a long time would be Dominic Cruz. You know, Dominic Cruz definitely had some troubles in his time when it came to injuries. So nonetheless, guys, when he comes back, who should TJ face? I mentioned this in a previous video. I would love to see him against um, Peter Yan because I believe those two styles would match up perfectly. They both are about the same height, both about the same frame, both got extremely great boxing, both got extremely um, rest, great, great wrestling and great takedowns and such like that. So these guys match up like to the point. And I would not want to see this in a three rounder. I would love to see this in a five rounder because I believe these guys got cardio for days. You know, TJ Dillashaw is a really great band weight, all things considering with the whole steroid allegation. But nonetheless, I still would love to see it. I still would love to see how he does against um, Peter Yan. Because Peter Yan, regardless of this loss, you know, you got to think about that. Peter Yan has not lost in a way where it's like, oh my God, you know, I don't think he's going to be the same. Peter Yan has just lost some close, close, very razor thin close decisions to the champ and now um, a rising up economer, Sean O'Malley. Um, or we could see uh, a possible rematch with Sanhagen, which I would not mind either. You know, that fight could have gone either way. I don't think TJ would be too keen on doing that just due to the fact of how difficult it was. Um, possibly a Cheeto Vera. That could be another one potentially. But then again, you guys, you got to consider this. You know, he is out for a very long time. He is going to be out for a very long time, possibly. And if he is out for a very long time, then maybe we could see a possible um, Dominic Cruz or somebody in the more lighter, lighter uh, end of things. You know, let, let's not let him go against, you know, these all these great lines that are right now on the top five. You know, you got some really great competitors. They're all trying to be champ right now. So let's maybe let us get his group back. Let him stop getting so injury, you know, so injury prone. Maybe face possibly a striker. Not someone that's going to take him down because he got his shoulder popped out in the takedowns, you know. But then again, guys, we got to remember he wasn't too, uh, too keen on uh, warming up in the back room. You know, he was injury prone then. Right there, he was already injured. He didn't get injured in the fight. He was already injured. And I believe they healed it. Uh, they healed it before the fight, and then they healed it again in that second round. Um, the dislocation. But still, he look. He got taken down by Aljamain, and right away popped right out. So he goes against another wrestler. It could pop right out again. You never know, because when it comes to stopping takedowns, you use literally all these muscles to try to stop those takedowns from happening. You try to catch yourself when you're getting slammed. You try to do anything you can to avoid that impact of the ground. Um, and 
you know, stuff like that can eventually end up happening. So what I would consider is TJ taking some time off again and healing again and possibly taking a more lighter opponent somewhere in the top 10, possibly a rematch with Dominic Cruz. That would be a fun fight. If Jose Otto just so happens to come back, that would be a somewhat of a fun fight as well. So I definitely would love to see what happens with TJ. TJ is a great, um, great fighter, great, um, great for the sport, great for this division. So I definitely, definitely would love to see what happens next for TJ. So I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, guys, if he comes back anytime sooner, my vote would be uh, Peter Yan. If anything else, who knows? But let me know who you guys think in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.